There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to make another stream because I accidentally uh, put something in the in the console that was private information. So here we go again. We're going to start off by getting rustlings installed. I decided to do a new install so that everyone can see I'm starting from the beginning. I have already done quite a bit of it though, so this will be practice. And now to make sure this the stream is working properly again, let's hope so. All right, we got good audio levels, yes. Ah, it's always frustrating learning things over and over again, but how it goes. Now, we go to the Rustling subdirectory. And we're going to run Rustling's watch. Ta-da. This exercise compiles successfully. The remaining exercises contain a compiler or logic error. The central concept behind Rustlings is to fix these errors and solve the exercises. Good luck! The source for this exercise is in exercises slash intro slash intro one dot rs. Have a look! Going forward, the source of the exercises will always be in the success slash failure output. You can keep working on this exercise or jump into the next one by removing the I am not done comment. All right, let's do that. I'm using Tmux so I can use the same terminal window with uh, multiple subdivisions. All right. Let's see. That's nice. Exercises. Okay. Let's go into intro. There we go. All right. Oh, it just prints everything we just thought. Let's get rid of the, I am not done. Yes, I use Vim. I prefer Vim. That's how I am. Okay, we're now into intro two. Uh, oh, okay. Make a choice. Make the code print a greeting to the world. Okay, then. What do you want from me? Let's see. Oh, it's just wanting me to put hello world. Alright. String from. I guess they prefer the comma-free version of Hello World. I can roll with that. Let's see if that worked. Yay, it did. All right, we do need to remove the I am not done section. Okay. Next, we have variables one. Right, so we need to get out of that subdirectory and go into variables one. your error oh, I have look at that the right here the compiler tells us what's wrong a massive part of why I love rust oops okay all right let X equal five let them eat cake I always say but not always it's an enigma all right getting rid of the I am not done 
Let's go to variables three. All right, and I am going to do a quick check on the stream just to make sure everything is going well. to make, find my headphones to make sure everything's working properly. Ah. Sweet! Yeah, sorry about that earlier blender starting a stream and then didn't realize my paste was full of something that should not be posted. So I had to get rid of that. Okay, hopefully future streams will be uh, less eventful with difficult things. This is just to get my feet dipped back in. I enjoy programming, so we'll see where things go. Alright, what do we got here? Type annotations needed, let x uh, consider giving it an explicit type. But it already has i32 here. I don't know what it's griping about. Let's just rerun it. Binding declared, but left uninitialized. Oh, it's unhappy because there's nothing assigned to it. Did I modify this? Let's see. Oops, pressed the wrong button. No. Ah, variables, variables three, swap file, open read only, edit anyway, recover, quit, abort. Oh, I forgot that's how the, they do swap files with them. Ah, the pain of them, it burns. Oh, hold on, we have a bitrate issue. Bit rate of 95 kilobytes per second. Can I change that on the fly? The stream may crash here. Sorry to anyone who's watching. Uh, I need to know. Okay, let's see if that made it happy. Seems to have changed it. Okay. Back to the real stuff. Here we go. Oh, it's just the live kilobytes per second. Okay. Well, that's actually interesting. Good to learn. Here we go. Recover, quit, abort. Let's quit. And then ls dash lsa. That's what I like to do. Ah, I can't read anything. It's too small. Okay, remove dot variables. There we go. Variables three. Now we're cooking. Alright, let's rerun that so we'll see what the new message is. Okay, so I was just unhappy that we don't have an assignment. I'm going to make sure that we're doing it the way they intend by looking at the hint. Ah. Mm. Try giving X a value. Okay, so they do want us to give a value. That's good to know. All right, let's give x a value of over 9,000. How's that, folks? Yay, it worked. And you know what? I don't have to type it in every time. I can just press up with the arrow key. Yay. All right. Then variables four. Let's go. What you griping about? X needs an explicit type. 
I got you covered. Oops, I did not do that right. Oh, yes. There we go. I 30. No, not that. I 32. And then, oh, don't change that line. Okay, come on. Then. Let's see what happens. Mm, yeah, they're wanting it mutable. Not adding this. Let meet x equal three. There we go. Keep forgetting. There we go. All right. On to variables five. Hmm. They're probably wanting me to set an explicit type, if I remember correctly. Let number of type I-32, let's see. Yep, that was what it was. Okay. Let's look at variable six. What you wanting from me? It wants an explicit type again? Oh, uh, it's a constant. Can we still do I-32? Let's see. I don't see where the challenge was with that. Let's see. We're still... Oh, variables 2? They're still stuck on variables 2. Have I really been ignoring that this whole time? Let X... I thirty two equals five. You look quite All right, now we're in functions. Okay, let's get out of the subdirectory. to functions functions one call me call who what do you want from me you want me to declare a function is that it we shall use the hint if it'll let me get out of here let me out oh, okay and mm, to not take any arguments and not return a value sounds a lot like main, doesn't it? Yeah, they're probably just wanting me to copy it. And it an empty one at that. Let's go function call me. And let's give it little closing brackets as the Hobbitsels. Okay, let's see if that worked. Yay, we got nothing, which in our case was good. Functions to. Hmm. It does not have num in scope. Probably wants an i32 type. Yep, that was it. Three. Oops, wrong button. Argument of type U32 is missing. Hmm. Wanting us to call the call me value with an unsigned integer. So let's see. Five. Let's see if that works. Yep, it did. Woo! Okay. Let's see next. 
functions for... Ooh, that looks like a mouthful. Let's see what it says. This store is having a sale where if the price is a number, you get 10 rust bucks off. And if it's an odd number, it's three rust bucks off. Don't worry about the function bodies themselves. We're only interested in the signatures for now. If anything, this is a good way to peek ahead to future exercises. So the error right now is they're wanting a function signature type. Or, yeah. Hold on. Just a function return type. Okay. Let's go with an I32. Can't go wrong, right? Yep. Good to go. Let's go to functions 5. You're wanting a proper return type. I need to get rid of this ending semicolon. The last statement can be a return statement in a function. So let's see. Functions six. Come on. Oh, wait. There isn't a function six. Oh, well. Let's go to the if section. We got two ifs. If one. All right. What is your problem? Mm, it's returning an I-32. Oh no, complete this function to return the bigger number. Do not use another function call or additional variables. Um, oh, it's, it's just a basic if statement. Okay. Let's go if a bigger than B and what do we do we return uh, let's see we just return a and then else we're going to do good old oops ah, we're gonna return B See if that does it. Yay, it does. I think I did that in a considerably more complicated way the first time. It's nice to see improvements in yourself. All right, if two. Expected a string because of the return type. Found integer. Get bar for fuzz and default to baz tests passing. So we're gonna probably do an if, else, and or no, if, else, if, and else. That should probably do the trick. Okay, else if, hold on, is, what do we want for, okay, we want a return for if, Physish equals. Oh no, don't do that. Okay. If that is fuzz, we want. Let's see. Oops. Okay, we're going to want bar. And then else. We're going to want baths. I think. We'll see. In just a second. Yay, it worked. not an if3 we're going to a quiz cd dot dot that's to go to the upper directory let's see quiz time no hints here people testing variables functions and if statements mary is buying apples the price of an apple is calculated as follows 
An apple costs two rust bucks. If Mary buys more than 40 apples, each apple only costs one rust buck. Okay. Write a function that calculates the price of an order of apples given. The quantity bought. No, it's this time. Put your function here. Alrighty then. Calculate price of apples. If, uh, let's say, okay, we need parameters here. We're gonna put integer. Let's see. We're gonna go with the name apples. Type i32. If. Apples equal to, or no, no, more, let's see, do we want more than, buys more than 40 apples. So more than, not equal to more than. So more than 40, then we're going to return just plain apples. Else. We're going to return, let's see, apples times two. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Can't compare integer with blank. Hmm. What is going wrong? Maybe I used the wrong type. Gotta figure that out. Ooh, this is a bad part of Tmux. I can't scroll up in the other output. I had not considered that. Ah, that is weird. That's mouse input. Delete. Guess we won't be getting as much help this time. I might change this to not be Tmux. So this is gonna get frustrating. Okay, hold on one second. Let's see, quit. Exit. Quit. Actually, we can take this. Do that. And just new window. Okay. And then, then all right, we go to source. And what? What is even here? This doesn't feel right. Oh, exercises. Okay. No, that's what the problem was. Okay. Then quiz one. Oh, the formatting is just so much better here, too. I had forgotten about that aspect. I need to get you out of Tmux. There are stopped jobs. Get out! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch. There we are. Now we can see our mistakes in all their glory. Oh, so it's all of them that are having trouble here. Oh, it's just a return type issue. See, this is why we needed two scrollable windows. An obvious but crucial mistake. 
Alright. Yay! See? It worked. Now I am not done. Nope, I am done. And that's the first quiz done! Woohoo! Alright, do I keep going or do I stop? This feels like a good stop point getting past the first quiz. Good first stream on a very new topic. First time doing programming on this channel, so uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. And thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if you're watching, I don't have any viewers right now, which makes me sad, but maybe someday. Anyway, goodbye.